<laughs> <laughs> Do we have a name for this podcast? Uh, yeah, I'll figure something out later. Not really. I don't know. I kind of want to call it the Wackerman perspective, but I don't know how well that would look <laughs> if somebody just read that. Without knowing the context that that's your last name, but it makes me have something might work. I don't know. Well, one of our relatives might be like, "Hey, this ain't what I think." <laughs> well, what is what is? But if they, I don't know, the, the Nintendo they, OK if, Podcast if they ever is heard that just? It, I'd be surprised. Is the Nintendo OK Podcast just called a Nintendo OK Podcast, or is there another name? No, we secretly call it Turbo Cast Land Job. W- w- I- we're putting this on Nintendo Oki site, aren't we? Or no? I don't know. Probably. Well, then we can call it. We can call it whatever we want. The Oki not Nintendo podcast. That's that dumb. Or uh, Wackerman perspective. Wackerman perspective made everyone laugh, so I'm pretty sure that's. <laughs> It'll the probably thing. get more viewers just because. The it's... Nintendo Oki podcast presents, or Nintendo Oki presents, or something. I'm at say that somewhere on the line. I'm probably never gonna say that, but whatever. Well, maybe that. I don't know. We don't have to call it anything in the actual podcast. Right. Is this the podcast? Right uh, yeah. Welcome to what we've decided is going to be called the Wackerman Perspective. I'm glad I didn't. I'm, <laughs> I didn't decide this. I'm glad I'm I didn't joined insult anybody yet. On my left by Will Wackerman. Hello. I'm joined on my right by Peter Wackerman. You don't know that I'm on your right. <laughs> and I'm joined by myself. By myself, <laughs> Shelby Coulter. This is just a go round, but there's no video going. Pretty much, yeah. Sort of. Well, there's baseball on. I got you swung at that. <laughs> <laughs> you said it was going to be a distraction for me. I said I was going to say that. Oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know what the heck this is going to be. I should probably start a timer so that this thing, you know, doesn't go on too long. So you know, we're supposed to talk about video attention games. Attention spans. Or... This is not video games. This is basically. An excuse for you to talk about anything you want, and then me and Peter just tell you you're stupid. So <laughs> I do with that, that anyway. With that, uh, Will, what's topic number one for the evening? Well, this is pretty much my last week's Google searches when I got bored. Okay. And so the first thing I was saying about this week is I was pretty hungry. And I wanted pizza. So this week started on a Tuesday, a Wednesday, what? I don't know when this. It was like a work week. Yeah, some some day this week I wanted pizza. Okay, you wanted so, pizza. So, and I looked up. First thing I did was I looked up on Google. When is Olive Garden bringing back their pizza? The pizza, because right. yeah, they, they they did stop doing that at some point, which is the only thing you've ever eaten in an Olive Garden. Well, not the only thing, but the only thing he'll eat now. Okay. Anyway, crackers don't count. Well, like we used to get, like when we were kids, like a spaghetti plate or chicken fingers. I I used to get. I never got. That. I used to get chicken finger plate at Olive Garden, and I got uh, the cheese shredded onto the chicken, and it actually was really good. Okay, you were also twelve at the time, probably. <laughs> I got pizza. I got it after I wasn't supposed to get any more. Like I didn't have the kids menu. I was older. Gave me the kids chicken. Well, sir, would you like a would you like a wine list? No, but I would like to see the kids' menu, please. I really want them chicken strips. <laughs> Peter used to at Monterey's instead of Mexican strips. Oh, instead of oh, Mexican yeah. food at Monterey's, Peter ate corn dogs. Corn dogs. Corn Mini- dogs. Mini- <laughs> Mexican restaurant. Let's see. It was the uh, well, there was the chicken nuggets and there was the corn pups. And I would get the corn, corn puffs. Pup. P P. What does that even mean? Is it like dog? Corn, like corn dog, but mini corn dogs. Oh, uh, that's actually kind of cute. So, so you're okay. eating puppies. I'm eating puppies. I'm eating the, <laughs> I'm eating the corn pup platter. But they're battered and fried, so that makes it okay <laughs> Corn somehow. pup platter. <laughs> There, there's a thing. PETA doesn't care if you like batter or something. You can eat whatever you want at that point. You can eat penguin if you want. They wouldn't care. <laughs> Have you ever had penguin? <laughs> uh, no, I haven't actually. Uh, unless you can't like, I think that's illegal. <laughs> unless you can't those animal cracker things, which then it just tastes like a rhinoceros. So I don't know what the point is. Is Olive Garden bringing back the pizza? I guess that's the uh, anyway. Let's bring it close to this topic. I looked it up and I I could find nothing. I'm not done on this topic because there there's, was, an, there's another thing mm, at Olive Garden that they need to bring back plus the pizza. What do you want? I'm mad because there is no pizza and there's no like 
the all I find is angry people wanting the pizza. There is nothing Olive Garden said like maybe we'll bring it. Back. Well, the very Wait, do you go to like Olive Garden rallies or something? Like I watched a, people. I watched a seven minute YouTube video of a guy <laughs> ranting that there he there is have... a guy on YouTube ranting you that would... Olive Garden has stopped selling pizza <laughs> yes. and it's not you. <laughs> you would be surprised at how many people I saw just and I don't look at Facebook all the time, but that day Never somehow I got on Facebook. And there was at least four people that had uh, sent out a message about, I can't believe Olive Garden is not going to have pizza any longer. And as many comments as posts. <laughs> Flatbread is not pizza. <laughs> I don't I don't know who argues that, uh, if anybody does. Flatbread is not you pizza. You put marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella on something, it's a pizza. Just like Lunchables a pizzas are not pizzas. Lunchable pizzas are gross. So I'm pretty sure you're just eating styrofoam. That's what flatbread is. And grounded up crayons. To me, that's what flatbread is. You're eating a cracker with pizza stuff but on it's it. It's a delicious cracker. All right, topic number... What, what else we what, got? We can't talk about on? Olive Garden for 30 I'm, minutes. I got one more suggestion for Olive Garden, though. Bring back the Italian scallion. What's that? That's, that is the onion dish appetizer that Olive Garden had, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. And it was the only thing we ate as an appetizer off the menu. And they took it away without telling anybody because the internet wasn't really around. Without then. telling anybody. In secrecy in the night, Olive Garden stole the Italian scallion. Of and we hated it because it was the best one. The blooming Onion, anything else you would get anywhere that's an onion meal for an appetizer. That was the best one, and they got rid of it. Okay. Man, well, mad. Moral Olive of the story Gar is, uh, I haven't been to Olive Garden since they got rid of it. Anyway. All <laughs> that's right. The moral, that's the moral of the story. So what we've learned from lesson from topic number one here is apparently Olive Garden uh, doesn't serve food that, uh, from the perspective of the Wackerman perspective, <laughs> is edible in any <laughs> way. real people ought to eat. Well, topic number two. Well, this sort of connects to number one. So <laughs> because I knew Olive Garden didn't have pizza, I looked yeah. up... Other pizza places. Okay. Like, and like what? I looked up a video of Crystal's Pizza. Yes. Crystal's. And that doesn't exist anymore either. Nobody <laughs> listening to this. Unless you're from Tulsa. All right, give me, in tw describe to me in 20 words what Crystal's Pizza was, past tense. Crystal's Pizza was Chuck E. Cheese. You're counting, right? Except no stupid mouse and... Two floors of arcade games, and it had a buffet. Very good. 20 words exactly. <laughs> That's 20 words if Chuck E. Cheese is two instead of three. <laughs> and it had a guy playing piano. That okay. was a little bit more. <laughs> well, let's get off of the topic of pizza and move on to the topic of three, which is probably still pizza. I'm pretty sure he tagged him right there. Well... <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, this topic's done, but after that video, I watched a video of Showbiz Pizza, and I watched the animatronics. Anyway, yeah, those things are kind of horrifying, <laughs> but creepy awesome. now, yeah. Still better than Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, uh, clearly out. You saw that, right? Yeah, he, he was pretty. It, it's going to go to replay, but uh, he does tag. Hey, I can't. Touched him. I can't tell if he gets his. I'm the only one doing stuff all week, so we're doing my topic. Great, go ahead. Of course, I'm the we one don't. Do, <laughs> we don't do anything during the week. I'm the one that can make this stuff show up and see if it actually makes it to the internet. Yeah, he's out. Topic three, please. I have been watching movies lately. Uh, movies of what variety, William? Movies of the animated Disney variety. <laughs> okay, that's pretty okay. specific. That's better than movies. But see, not... cracked open your vault is what you're saying. Yes, the Will Wackerman vault. Which is almost complete. Which is upstairs and it's kinda of, the door's just kinda of open. Yeah, it's not very Don't secure. tell them where I live. Anyway. <laughs> I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> I am only missing out of I have almost every hand drawn Disney movie that went to theaters. Not counting that's not counting like that doesn't count like Cinderella Bambi two uh Cinderella three. Cinderella Those don't count. Three J Jafar's Revenge. <laughs> The Revenge. Jafar's Revenge. Revenge. <laughs> what? <laughs> there's, a, the there, name there's like an Aladdin 2 or 3, Jafar's Revenge or something like that. <laughs> Is that what that movie's called? No, it's The Return of Jafar. <laughs> I did. It's, it's, a, a, it's a, kind of the it's same thing. It's basically the same. It's the same. It's the same difference. Anyway, the only one I'm missing, and every time I get asked, what's the one you're missing? I have to say, 
melody time. And then everybody says, what the heck is melody what the heck time? Is melody time? <laughs> and then I say, you don't know? Well, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's actually accurate. You're kind of pompous <laughs> well. about it. <laughs> melody time was made in the 1940s <clears throat> when half the Disney animators and oh, team right, right. went to the war, went to World War II World and had War to help II with that. specifically, yeah. Uh, the guys that stay behind made some like a compilation movies. There's like six movies in all that are kind of like, kind of like those, uh, just a bunch of different cartoons in one. Almost like a Fantasia thing. Well, where it was kind of like different chunks put together. It's just like, you know, like Quackbusters or something. Like I do, yes, but I don't know if anyone <laughs> listening to this has any like, idea what that like is. Like those Looney Tunes movies. Mary had a little lamb, but I ate them. All they are is like a bunch of episodes. With like little segments that they added in between, uh, like they drew five minutes and made a movie. The dude runs out. I called it right, by the way. Anyway, the only one I'm missing is Melody Time, and that's the one that has the segment with Pecos Bill roping the moon. Oh, okay, cool. Well, we're on the search for Melody Time then. Search for Melody Time, and mm-hmm. I'm watching them in chronological order of release or like in canon and like the universe. Release date. The other one would be way too hard. I know. Because some of them don't exist. I started with Snow White, and then Pinocchio, and then I'm not going to name them all, because I don't know the order exactly. But <laughs> The next one's Fantasia. I'm in the 90s right now. I'm in the 90s. Bambi. Bambi is not... It's after Fantasia. In the 90s. It's 80s, isn't it? <laughs> it's the 40s. in the 40s. Uh, I was close. <laughs> I was only off by like half a century. I am a deer. I am the king. <laughs> anyway, of the deer. last movies I watched. I saw Bambi in the 80s. So, to, you know. Okay. What movie have you watched? The last movies I watched are considered the Disney Renaissance. Renaissance. You don't have to do quotation marks in front of us. <laughs> and two, it doesn't play on an audio show. <laughs> Disney Renaissance starts with Little Mermaid. And some people think it ends with Lion King, but I say it ends with Tarzan. There's 10 Tarzan? movies. Tarzan? Yeah, from 89 to 99. That's the Disney Renaissance. Yeah, but the last three of those movies are not as good as the rest. They're yeah, all they good. Are. No one went to see them. I, nobody all... heard what I said. Not as good as the rest. I like Hercules. Well, you're stupid. <laughs> Bless my soul. <laughs> that guy came out of nowhere. Hercules on a roll. Yeah, I okay, know the song. Uh, the first there's Little Mermaid, then The Rescuer's Down Under, which is kind of like, whoa, what's going on? Then there's... <laughs> She's got the lizard eating the eggs. <laughs> then it's Beauty on the Beast, Aladdin. Stop singing. Lion King. And then the Pocahontas, and then the Notre Dame Hunchback. And then Rudy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rudy's. That would have been a better movie. Uh, I lost, my, it, I lost my <laughs> I lost my thing. I think about. so. Hercules. And then something else. And then Tarzan. <laughs> something <else. laughs> Obviously, the Renaissance is so memorable. Mulan. I like Mulan. Something Mulan's good. Else. Mulan is really good. It's got a pretty good song in there. Anyway, what's your favorite Disney moment? Mickey probably showed up. Disney some... moment? What? Your favorite moment in a Disney like, movie. Out of any Disney movie I wasn't or expecting animated? you to ask me questions. This is interesting. Any Disney uh, or animated? Only animated. That's the only thing that counts. Hand drawn animation. Yes, that's the pic- only thing that counts. The I don't know. Stuff Rocket counts. Man is a pretty good movie. So we're talking hand drawn animated stuff. Yes. Well, then freaking Goofy movie. That's not the best moment. No, the whole movie is the best moment. <laughs> the whole movie is the best. <laughs> you moment. can't say that. It wasn't the best moment of a Goofy movie. What was the very best? What are you thing talking about? I just did it, and I'm that right. That happens in the entire movie. In Goofy movie. Yeah. I think the part from the beginning till the credits is the best part. Goofy movie don't even count in my list because this is Disney theatrical movies what? made by the Disney main studio, not Disney Toon Studio. <laughs> Actually, I was you wrong. You freaking love the Goofy movie. Don't get all pompous with me all of a sudden. I was wrong. You were singing it three days ago. Shelby, I was wrong earlier. Uh, it's actually Dumbo, then Bambi. So I left one out. Dumbo is a manumbalumbo. I really like the Goofy movie, and it's probably the song where they're on the river singing or whatever. That's my favorite. No, body else but you. That one, yeah. 
The stuck collectible. I thought you were saying no as in no. That I thought not. he was too. And I think he probably was. But no. Just realized he hit that. Body else. No. All right. I think best, you have to pick a moment. The for best the moment later. in all of Disney. No, he's Will, just gonna tell us. Will's just gonna yeah, tell me. Mind. I don't have to do anything. Maybe. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it's. <laughs> you can tell me what to do. Hmm. You don't even have one thought out. This is well, your topic. Okay, I'll say my top moment. Because when I cry, it's a double cry moment. It's a double cry. Double cry. Does that mean you cry with both <laughs> eyes? Because if you can only cry with one, that's kind of impressive. It goes, Hanat Sabatina, my game, Yama. That is the beginning of. Uh, it's Will's <laughs> version of the beginning of Lion King, yes. From that moment to where it says, Circle of Life, Lion King. Is that the whole movie or just the opening? Thing? Just the opening. <laughs> like, 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 just the first three minutes. So you does that count as a late title card or is that just a cold open? <laughs> it's probably just more of a cold <laughs> open, really. They don't do anything. They just yeah, kind of hang out song. and there's a song. And, yeah. But you cry when the bird is flying because that bird is Rowan Atkinson. And you know... <laughs> He is a genius. And he's a secret agent <laughs> in England. And uh That's not why you cry, but you cr- that's why you cry the first time. And then you cry again when Grafiki holds up Sim Graf- Monkey. It's Graffiti. Graffiti. Graf- Giraffe? <laughs> That's he holds guy. up a monkey. It starts that's with an R. No, no wait, he is a monkey. That's the he mascot holds... from Toys R Us. <laughs> he holds up a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> the Monkey King going to theaters 2017. No, he's scared me up. He holds up Simba. <laughs> and <laughs> everyone monkey. bows down to the king that's going to eat them. Mm. So he goes Scar. Because they're all bugs. And that is my next topic. All right, topic number something. So you're so. you're like Mufasa's dad. Who? Mufasa in The Lion King. He's the dad. You're like his dad and his mom, and you're like, we have two sons. Let us name one Mufasa, as he is going to be great, and we like him. This other kid, we didn't really want. We don't like him at all. Just we'll name him Scar. Like that's not fair. Mufasa, Scar. It's kind of like having triplets and naming the first one Trice. <laughs> Inside joke, nobody gets. No, no, thrice. Sorry. But it's Simba, Nala, as the older Scar. Who, I, he, got, he was messed up from the start. I'm thinking Scar is a nickname. What's his real name? Tom. <laughs> <laughs> the Lion Prince. He didn't really like the name Tom. So, you know, he got beat up in school a lot, got a scar across his face. Personally, I don't know very many African ne- sounding names, so I, I'm going to go with Tom as well. It's, it's <laughs> unanimous. Two against one. Tom. The would be <sighs> Lion King. The parents. Come are- on. If you were being ruled by an evil dictator named Scar. Or an evil dictator named Tom? Their Which last, one would strike more fear into your heart? Their last name is Ato, and the first kid, they gave him a good name. The second kid, they was like, hey, let's let's have a name where we can make fun of him for the rest of his life. Tom. Ato. Well, so they knew he was going to be bad? They knew. No, he got the nickname Scar probably because he beat up a lot of kids because he was getting beat up because his name was Tom in a real in lion school. I'm not going to explain it because I don't know it well enough, but in a real <laughs> lion pack, there's one leader... And the others are scavengers, and he's probably a scavenger. That's why he's skinny. That's why he's not powerful. That's he's why got a he's lot of, angry. He's got a lot of teen angst because of that Tom beatings. He I took shall in practice school. my curtsy. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> anyway, we'll just James Earl Jones tells him you will bow down to the king, and he says I'll practice my curtsy. You've got the. And then James Earl Jones drawn. says, "People will come, Ray." They won't know why, but they'll come to see Hercules. And then he dies. Which is what's this reference to every movie James Earl Jones was in? Wait, is James Earl Jones dead? Yeah. You know he that, fell off a cliff. Did you Are know you that lo- you're looking okay, what I know that's not true, but is you really know dead? that James Earl no. Jones <laughs> Mufasa. Did you know that James Earl Jones wore himself around himself in the movie Coming to America? Yeah, I like that movie. <laughs> 
Because he wore Mufasa around Where'd he go himself? to find the queen? The queens. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, what's next? We'll skip the uh, topic of uh, Nala, maybe Simba's sister. Anyway, Tinkerbell. <laughs> Tinkerbell, okay, we're sticking with Disney okay, here. Okay, this is kind of weird. I've been fascinated by this topic lately. Yeah, that's getting really weird. <laughs> fascinated. In the movie Peter Pan, okay. right, if you remember it, at all I most don't. of it but not Christmas is about no. the only thing I remember Wendy is the good girl right and Tinkerbell hates Wendy yes she's a jerk to Wendy and she goes me 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 and then uh, she tells the lost boys to kill Wendy the yes. lost boys is this an episode of growing pains all of a sudden <laughs> No, the Wonder Years I was way off anyway what's growing pains that's so, the one with Michael J. Fox no growing pains is the one with uh Kurt Cameron. Kurt Cameron, yeah. Okay. And, What's uh, the one with Michael J. Fox? All in the Family? No, that's, that's something else. Uh, that's Archie Bunker. All My Children. No, that's a soap opera. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Back to where we're supposed to be. <laughs> anyway, Tinkerbell is a jerk. She tries to kill Wendy. She, she even goes to Captain Hook and tries says, to kill Wendy? Yes. She tells the Lost Boys Wendy is a bird and it must be destroyed. And then she tells Captain Hook where Peter Pan lives. So that he can kill Wendy. Anyway. So Tinkerbell's kind of a She's bad a jerk. Guy? She's yeah. a jerk. Yeah. Okay. But in recent years, she has a movie every year that comes out. Every year? Pretty much. A Tinkerbell kind movie. Like Barbie. The fairies. And she's a good person. Everybody thinks she's good. She's not. She's a jerk. These movies are a lie. <laughs> this topic does not interest me. I just wanted to get that out. Okay, good. This is a lie. A lie. A you scam. Get... <laughs> of course it's a scam. They put out these movies every year for cheap, and someone goes out and buys a DVD in the store. You acting like you needed to complain about Tinkerdell. Tinkerbell just makes me think of <laughs> venting fairy dust for some reason. I don't know. I could probably structure that uh, joke a little better. The only thing I could think of, uh, only thing, other thing I looked up this week is... Is it better to collect DVDs or just sell your collection and get Netflix? Depends. Why would you do either way? Like, what is the best thing about why would you get DVDs over Netflix or why would you get Netflix over DVDs? <clears throat> Collecting DVDs uh, with the impressive collection the two of you have amassed together. Uh, it takes up a whole room in your house, literally. <laughs> that is uh, now while you two have a... Very spacious home. Very beautiful home, I might add. Yeah. Uh, that, that takes up a lot of room. <laughs> you have the room for it now, but theoretically, maybe you won't someday. In like two months. Maybe. When you buy more <laughs> things. And with, the, I mean, you can always spill into the reading room where Michael Jordan always reminds me to jump into reading jump with into that reading. poster hanging on the <laughs> wall. Everyone jump into reading. <clears throat> Uh, but the thing with DVDs is they do eventually, they will not work given a certain period of time. Uh, the Netflix thing, advantage is you kind of have instant access to that stuff, but the disadvantage is that with licensing rights, some of that stuff goes away. And especially the older stuff that no one is watching. Yeah. Legal reasons, a lot of that stuff gets lost, which is why some of these DVDs that you guys are looking for are in rare print. Probably Branded like up. the Melodicals or whatever the heck uh, he was what? talking about. The Melodicals. The, the Melody. The what? Melody time with... The, <laughs> With Walt and Mickey. The Melodicals okay, sounds like a Christian, they sound like a Christian a cappella group or something like that. <laughs> it does uh, kind of. Yeah, definitely Netflix has its advantages. One is new TV shows coming out. I was excited when we got to watch Daredevil from Marvel. I'm excited that they might be making a new Tick series with Patrick Warburton. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, like you said... Uh, the licensing rights goes away. They take stuff off that's already on there. They put new stuff on, great, but old stuff that no one is watching, no one is thinking of, especially movies that I would think are at least 20 years old or more, if those don't get a view every day, or I don't, I don't know what the percentage would be, they're going to take that off as quick as they can and get something else on there because of the amount of space they have. The Braves called in a lefty. So... The so reason the, I think I get DVDs and I don't do Netflix, I don't do Netflix at all, even though we have it. 
I never, ever, ever, ever turn it on. <clears throat> That's not true. Well, you watch Daredevil. I watched one time. I watched two and a half ep- uh, seasons of one show, one season of one show, and like two episodes of something else. And that's all I've ever used Netflix for. But I buy DVDs constantly. Why do I do it when I have Netflix? Yeah, I know it's stupid. Maybe. I think it's because Netflix does not have the choices that DVDs have, especially when it comes to older movies. Like they, they have a lot of stuff on there, yes. But as far as me looking for something in particular, they definitely don't have it because the store don't even have it. Like and the so movies Netflix I want to see right now period. are not well known because I already have all those. Like Moatical and Mickey and the <laughs> and the Walt. Yeah. If Netflix hey, got I just thought of a new topic. If Netflix <laughs> got the rights to Good, sidekicks with Chuck Norris I would watch it a lot more often. You're boring. Anyway. Uh, I just said the topic was boring. He said you personally were boring. I was kind of mean. Sidekicks is a great movie. I, I didn't say that. All right, wait. <laughs> I agree, with, <laughs> I I agree with you. Chuck Norris fights Joe Piscopo. Yeah. I mean, that's. I don't know why that didn't win a Grammy. He plays himself. Like, Chuck Norris is Chuck Norris. The reason it would win a Grammy is because the punch sounds so cool, by the way. I didn't mess up. He even, like, Arnold parodies some of his movies in, like, Last Action Hero and things like that. Chuck parodies, like, four of his movies in dream sequences. Cool. All right, well, bring us to our final topic. Well, we kind of ended that one, so. <laughs> Wait, was that the topic? <laughs> Uh, you said you thought of something else. Oh, well, I was just going to read my movie list that I need. <laughs> We're not up to... No. Not today. So Somebody get can, out of maybe they'll look for them for maybe me. Maybe people write in and say how much they want to hear your movie list. Somebody get out of pen and paper. Because we'll, they just listen to you guys talk about Netflix We'll go and from A to D next week or something Five like minutes. That. Well, okay. Uh, All right. Pose us a question to, to round out the show here. What's, what's, what's the burning question on Will's mind of the evening here? Uh, I was way outside. So, uh, I, I I typed in a question to Google. Okay. <laughs> and I typed in, why do people ha? Right. Ha. So it says, why do people have dimples? <laughs> why do people have dimples? Well, what's the first, what's the first result? <laughs> I'm not, I'm honestly not sure. I, I just... Why would that be the first question that pops up on Google? Is it wasn't. Have nightmares was first. That's the second. Wait, why do people have nightmares? That's a way better question. <laughs> okay, why do people have nightmares? Are you asking me or are you asking Google? I'm asking me. I want to ask Google. Tell me what the third <laughs> result is on why do people have nightmares. That way, if people listening at home want to play along, you know, they can check it out too. Is it is it a Yahoo Answers thing? I kind of hope it is. Those are always great. Well, there there is a quotations at the top. Quotations around what? Although nightmares and night terrors both cause people to awaken great fear. Apparently, it became British. They are different. Night terrors, terrible British. Actually. Typically, typically, typically. <laughs> occur in the first few hours, and after falling asleep, they are experienced as feelings, not dreams. So people do not recall why they're terrified. Upon awakening, I remember my dream. That didn't help at all. <laughs> well, don't tell, don't tell me what Google says at the top of the thing. I want to know what the third search result is. Okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a one, a two, a three. That brought this segment brought to you by not <laughs> the owl from the Tootsie Pop commercials. The third one is Psychology Today. Okay, Psychology Today. Let's, let's source it. Let's give credit where credit's due. You wake, a byline? You wake up. Your heart's pounding. You may be even... Somebody wrote a poem? ...with a shout. Isolated nightmares are normal. But when dreams resulting in extreme terror... Should we call it Edgar Allan Poe? ...reoccur. Often they become a... ...sleep disorder. Debilitating. Blah, blah, blah. Are you struggling with the word debilitating that I can't even see? Well, typically... I'm going to skip to the part that I need to read. <laughs> okay. 
Some I scientists, apologize to everyone at Psychology Today. Some scientists com, believe that dreams are Cortex's attempt to find meaning in random signals received during REM sleep. Residual eye movement? No. The band. Oh, REM sleep. Right. <laughs> right. I know when I go to sleep, I hear all those great REM hits. I can't name you one single REM song. Some with the orange. It's chance. the end of the world as we know it. The one on That's rock, what I dream of. The one on rock band song. had the word orange in it is all I remember. <laughs> I got my something. I got my orange crush. That one. Shelby's looking at his phone like I'm checking he's bored. the time. Uh, so this pretty much says it's caused by the cerebral cortex or the, the mandula omgala. Mandula omgala. So yeah. crocodiles are the reasons you have nightmares. <laughs> but they're liars. <laughs> the crocodiles are no, the No, these nightmares. people online. It's like you're, you're calling out psychology today. It's a bold statement, sir. What is the main reason people have nightmares then? <laughs> Stinking boogeyman. The boogeyman. <laughs> he lives the boogie, under your bed. The boogeyman lives. In your sheets. In your closet. <laughs> He's coming to get you. <laughs> so we've come full circle to <laughs> Disney movies because now you're talking about Monsters, Inc. Uh, no. no. No, he's this, the boogeyman. This is a real boogeyman. He's coming to get you. The real boogeyman. That's a fake boogeyman. What if a 12-year-old is listening to this? They're going to be terrified now. Their parent has worked so hard to tell them the boogeyman <laughs> doesn't exist. And you're going, no, I met the boogeyman last night. Well. He's he's the, kind of a jerk. Well, the, okay, I'll fix it. No, Jerry's but, not like that. <laughs> yeah. Don't he's, be he's afraid of the big bad Jerry's boogeyman. Cool. What about the little bitty boogeyman? <laughs> the little bitty, little bitty, like the boogeyman <laughs> who dances underneath your bed all night to disco music. <laughs> <laughs> ooch, 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 ooch. All right, I believe with that we no. will end this episode no. of the Wackerman Perspective. No. One final word, Peter. Your thoughts on the evening here? Cardinals are winning. <laughs> Cardinals are doing pretty good. Will, closing thoughts for whatever the heck. I is. am the only source of knowledge you need. <laughs> Says the man wearing a Kiss t-shirt. <laughs> Sitting with a cup inside of another You cup. do not need to listen to those other chumps online. They like psychology today? Yes. They're just, they got a plaque, but no one knows what it they got is a plaque. for. They're chumps. I think- I don't think plaque. Yeah, somebody dedicated something to psychology today and donated a plaque in memorum of nightmares in the itsy bitsy boogie. <laughs> now he's got a new name, not little, not little bitty. The itsy bitsy boogie. Oh, it's all good. All right. Well, thank you for joining us on this episode. More of this will come. Itsy boogie man Probably, crawled heck, from I under the bed. Could happen. <laughs> Turn on the disco ball and danced around the. Head. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We shall see you next time. Head is British for toilet. Toilet.